a minute about the difference between how we set up our worm bins and other worm casting suppliers. Uh, we set our worm bins up just like they would be in nature. Uh, we'd start with a humus layer on the bottom and that would be material like this that was originally uh, possibly horse stall waste and uh, wood chips and now you can see how dark brown and lovely that's becoming. Mm -hmm. And then, like the forest floor, we cover it with uh, leaves that the worms also eat. And so, uh, our difference is that we don't use peat moss. Uh, peat moss is uh, sourced from an unsustainable peat bog, and it is also an antimicrobial source, which is the opposite of what we're trying to do, which is start uh, inoculating your soil with lots and lots, millions of beneficial microbes. Uh, that are found in the worm castings. Uh, the, uh, some of our other competitors would use a single source food uh, like hog waste or dairy waste or feedlot cattle waste. And those animals are fed tons and tons of antibiotics. And again, we want you to have uh, the highest number of microbes in your soil that you can have. And the great place to start is with our premium worm castings. So what's most important to us as worm casting, casting producers is having a high nutrient level in our castings, but even more than that, making sure that when we hand it off to you, they are really full of uh, beneficial bacteria, beneficial fungi, beneficial nematodes, and most importantly, beneficial protozoa. And so these are the microscopic critters that are going to be in your soil ecosystem when you inoculate it with our worm castings. And we start with a analysis from the premier soil food web lab in the country. And we make sure when we send our lab uh, out to them, uh, they get it in a living form, and just like you will. And we have numbers that are off the charts in our beneficial bacteria, uh, beneficial fungi, protozoa, and nematodes. What we really want you to know is that most worm castings that you find on the market have uh, been sent to a large compost facility and are sitting out in the sun being exposed to UV light and heat and cold temperatures. And that's probably going to kill almost all of the microbes. If that didn't do the job, uh, then they're going to package it in clear sealed plastic bags. And again, no oxygen was going to mean no life. And so we want you to make sure that you're able to get living microbes in your worm castings, which are going to make the biggest difference in your growing. So we test these worm castings in our own gardens that we're feeding our family and friends from. And so as you can see, we have a very healthy flock and we just put a handful of our castings right around in the soil zone. If we needed to add uh, mulch at that time, we would add mulch right on top of it. Uh, we would water it in, and that's going to help bring uh, soil microbes to your soil and nutrients and trace nutrients to your soil. So you'll have nutrient-dense, healthy, delicious food for your family. Awesome. This looks great.